November is Epilepsy Month, and one in every 26 people is diagnosed with epilepsy. In Missouri and Kansas, about 200,000 people are affected. Now, this weekend is the first annual Seize the Day 5K Run and Walk. And this morning, we are joined by Dr. Nancy Hammond and also Elizabeth Rumley to dispel some of the myths about epilepsy. So, welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. So, Doctor, let's start with you. Tell us, I mean, first of all, what is epilepsy and what are some of the myths about it people don't understand? So, epilepsy is a disease that affects your brain. I'm a neurologist, so this is what I treat all day long. Um, and epilepsy can... Um, affect people in a lot of different ways. Sometimes when you see it on TV, you see the big seizures where people fall down yeah. and shake all over, but a lot of people have smaller seizures where they may just space out for a few seconds or they may have numbness or tingling or, or other things that you might not necessarily see. So sometimes a, patient, a person can be having a seizure and you don't even know it. So tell us a little bit about what that's like, because you have epilepsy, so what do you go through? Explain it for someone who doesn't understand what you're experiencing. Uh, well, like she mentioned, I mean, there's a broad range of mm -hmm. it. And for me personally, I, I suppose I lucked out. Um, mine is incredibly manageable. I have very small seizures, and if I take medication, it's really not an issue. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yes. Well, that's great. You know, there's a lot of issues about pregnancy, too, that, and, and epilepsy that a lot of people may not understand. So kind of fill us in on, you know, whether or not you can have a, a healthy baby and go through a normal pregnancy with epilepsy. So the first thing that I tell a woman when she comes to me that has epilepsy is I say, absolutely, you can get pregnant. More mm -hmm. than 95% of women with epilepsy can have a normal, healthy pregnancy and, and an uneventful deliver, delivery just mm -hmm. like anybody else in the country um, that doesn't have epilepsy. Um, there are certain things that we need to manage and you really need to work with both your obstetrician and your neurologist when you are pregnant and have epilepsy and we take care of your medicines and make sure you're on the right medicines that are going to be the healthiest for you and for your baby. <coughs> so tell me, do you, are you, have you had a baby yet or are you a mom? Yes, I am a mom. I have two children. You have two? <laughs> I do. And so tell I me about do. the kids and how that whole thing went. Um, you know, I went in actually before I even got pregnant. I was taking the medication that they highly recommend when you are pregnant. Turns out that that um, was the one that worked for me. And so I didn't have to change the medication. I had to manage the dosage just because, mm -hmm. I mean, your blood volume increases. Your body's doing more when you're pregnant. And um, I kept in touch. I got regular uh, lab draws and um, did some titration. And with that, mm -hmm. it wasn't... You know, it wasn't. It went an well. Issue. Yes, and I'm two, two kids two, later, you're doing great. Two now, tell me about. Children. There's a big the the 5K run walk that's happening this weekend. Pretty exciting thing. Yeah, it'll be a really good event. It'll be great fun. Hope people can come out and join us. And that helps raise money for such a great cause, and, and mm -hmm. it, it helps with education. We all need to be aware of what's going on, so people who may have it can come in and get treated. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. I want to let everybody know once again, the 5K Run and Walk is this coming uh, Sunday, November 10th. It's from 8 in the morning, uh, and you can register at 7 a.m. It's at Corporate Woods, so please come out, get involved, and help the Epilepsy Foundation.